Okay, so there are different ways to bring up the the format. So the the easiest way and the most visible way or the more visible way is by coming to this place. And once you click and hold, you have all the deformers that you can bring up. Then all you need is just let go on any of these deformers that you want, then it brings it in the same. Another way is by coming to this create tab here, click on the create menu, then you're going to see the formats you also have this. So any of the method you want is fine. But what I like doing is to click and hold, then let go on this bar. So I have the deformers listed here. Then I can work. Or you could also come to this create the former, then click on this so that it brings it up and floats here. Then you can start working. So today we're going to look at two of these deformers. Then subsequently we'll be looking at different deformers on work. So I'm going to bring up um, a primitive. So let me just make this um, maybe 30 by 1000 in the height and 30. So I'm creating a long um, pillar wall. So if you look at the height of this object, if I'm to bring in a plane to be my floor. So the height of this object is 1000. So for me bringing it up, what I do is if you notice the pivot point is at the middle of this object so making it 500 so for me to make the base of this on the floor all i need to do is go to the y level make it 1000 divided by 2 making it 500 so it stands on this floor exactly so once we have this the next thing we want to look at is looking at this object so the start the first one is bend so if you click on bend what happens is that if I go to the bend and start changing the strength, it starts seeing the bending stuff working, but then it's not affecting the object. The reason why it's not affecting this object is because all the formers work when they are children to any primitive object or any object. So right now in this hierarchy, is not a child to anything. That's why we're not seeing any effects. So for us to see any effect, we have to make it a child to so any object we want to um, deform. So in this case, we want to deform this um, long cube. So we're going to drag this as a child of that. Then if we stretch this. Now, if you look at this um, object, it's actually, being, it's actually bending. But the problem is it's not bending this object. It's not bending the pillar or so to, so to say and the reason why this is not working is if i'm to go to the display mode and go to garage shading with line <clears throat> what is happening here is um i'm sorry um i want to try and explain this in the best way that i can have so i have a long pillar and i want to just imagine this is a rod like a rod and you want to bend the rod you know the rod is a very straight and solid object so instead of you bending what happens is it gets slanted the reason why this is getting slanted is because you don't really have enough detail on your object so in another case if you look at your finger for instance your nail and this is it so this is where the nail is don't mind my drawing okay i'm just trying to look for a way to explain this better so this is our thumb for instance if you have to bend the thumb you notice that here you have a kind of if you look at your thumb very well you have a kind of um cut here you also have another one here such that when you bend this uh, this thumb you get to have something like this have one here you have one here and you have this and the reason why you can have this bend is because there is a subdivision here you also have another subdivision here such that will make your hand to bend to three times sorry two times rather you have the start point bending towards this direction and bending here so the um 
the detail that you're going to get in your bending will be determined by the subdivision you have on the height segment on the height line so if you have a lot of subdivision you have more bends if you, have, if you don't have any subdivision you don't have any bends. i hope you understand this logic so that is what is happening here on this object you don't really have any subdivision you don't have the only subdivision you have if you come to this cube is um on the y level because don't forget this screen is the y axis so the y axis is not caught it's just, it's just, you only have one subdivision that's why you're having this but by the time we start changing the subdivision start increasing it you see that you have a bend somewhere here because we have a detail here if you increase this also and as you start increasing you start having enough bends i hope you understand that so that is what is happening with that section of that object so now look at this the reason we're having this long line here is because the bend only have effect up onto this place so that would take us to the information on the bend so we have the size for the bend then we have the mode the, the mode is set to limited that's why you don't have all these objects bending across so if you come here you can change it to within box then it bends within the box and after once it ends then it continues what most of the times you don't really use um within box because this doesn't is not really realistic so you can also go to unlimited so unlimited bends it's no matter the direction let me hide this no matter the length of this box or the height of the pen deformer it will bend it unlimited so that is the mode that you have here then you have the strength of the bend so you want to bend it maybe you want to bend at um, 180 degrees you have that so let's say this is 90 for instance or well, let's bring this down then you also have the angle what does the angle do it changes the angle of direction of the bend so if your bend goes towards the direction and you intended it going towards that direction you can just change the angle then it changes all right so you now have this um right click here so i get back to the default value zero so you have this keep y length now this keep y length is handy because if you notice this bending as you bend it stretches the object you can notice from this ground normally if you bend object it's supposed to be on its position the ground level is supposed to be here but as you start bending you start changing its position and thereby stretching it's because of the stretching that this object is moving its position so you might need to click on this keep y length so it keeps the length the other thing is this button where you have fit to bend. right now if i bring this back to zero this bend is not encompassing this um primitive objects so that's why you see the bend not really working well the way you want if this is what you want fine it's work it's okay but you could also click on this fits to parent and it automatically fits the deformer to the parent so what is happening now is what is happening sorry about that so and a will go back to grass shooting with line i can temporarily hide this so what is happening now you can see that it, the bend deformer has been fit to this cube so that when you start bending this object it affects the cube uniformly and every, everything is now working fine so if i'm to bend this 180 degrees or like adjust 180 degrees then you have this object bends and all that so this is how um you make use of the bend deformer and looking at this so as we hit this um fit to parent it takes the height of the parents you notice the height of this parent is 1000 it also takes the height of the parents and another thing you can do with um bend the former is you or this the former is that you can decide to change what position you want the bend to start from so let's assume i don't want the bend to start from this starting position i want it to start from exactly 300 units after 300 units of this object so what would you do is Bring this object, select this bend deformer, go to the coordinates, add 300 units to it, then it goes up. 
but then we also have another problem now the problem is that um this is bending it the mode we have is unlimited so we need to change this to limited so we have that you can notice now the bend now starts exactly 300 units from the ground so the bend doesn't start from this place now it starts from here so if we crank this up see what we have so you can you could make use of this make it to create anything maybe you want to create a letter p or you want to create an archway or any other thing so that is that so i'm going to delete this and go to the next one like i said i don't want to waste time on each of these i want to make it as so let's bring in another object be um, cube also bring this cube up increase this we could even delete this we don't need this now we're not creating any projects all right so if you bring up um, a bulge another thing you can do to bring it directly as a child is holding down shift then clicking on the deformer you want as soon as you do that it does two things it makes it a child of this cube and automatically fit it to the to its parents so once you have that you have all the same settings change the mode and the strength so if we increase the strength see what happens so you can already tell me what is happening here the reason why you you can see the bulge working but working but you don't see it having effect on the object the reason is just basically going back to the cube increase the y segment and you have the bulge working so if we go back to the bulge you can either bulge out or bulge in so it depends on whatever objects you want to create maybe this is the effect you're looking for you can do that or you want it to go out so now let's look at the next one which is curvature curvature is is then uh, this functionality affects how the curve of this bulging have so if you have a zero instead of you having a curve you're having a sharp cut all right you're having a sharp cut so if you start increasing this start getting the curvature you get to a point whereby after 100 you now have um a cascaded bulging or a double bulging or i don't know what it's called so you're having it broken down and get here and come again and that is there so let's make this 100 then you can also fillet this now what fillet would do is create a nice transition from the start and the end you can notice if it is off the ball just starts from this tip and ends here but if you have your fillet you have a smooth transitioning from here before you start bulging and when it comes comes so you can use this to create anything maybe you want to use it to create your hourglass or anything so that is it for part so i'm going to end this tutorial here then in the next tutorial i will go to the next two tools and so on and so forth so i hope this was intuitive this was uh, helpful do have a wonderful day and god bless you and you could also click on the cardboard by the side for you to watch other tutorials of mine and i think that is pretty much it bye